Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. So we've got the Death Brand armor, which for a unique armor set is very, very good. But maybe you want to craft your own Star Rim armor that you can enchant and improve exactly to your build. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll make a video showing you exactly why you just may want to do that. However, we're unable to smith Star Rim until we complete this quest, a new source of Star Rim. So let's just crack on. Okay, when you arrive at Skull Village, you'll be uh, somewhere like you'll come across this conversation here. In my bones, and I smell it in the air. Hello, friend. Did I ever hear that someone's oh, missing? I doubt has always been quick to worry. Go and speak to him if you like, but do not be surprised if you end up in a wild fox chase. It would not be the first time. Okay, so what we want to do is actually uh, get to chat to uh, Dior. Okay, just start interacting with the Dior woodcutter. One of the skull has gone missing. Who's missing? It is Baldor Iron Shaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Did anything unusual happen around the time of his disappearance? Strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Where were they headed? South and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be great. Okay, so that starts off the uh, quest. Uh, a new source of sauce, sauce, sauce of style room. Okay, make sure that's equipped. Okay. Let's see where the mission marker takes us. Okay, where's the nearest place? And yeah, it's got to be Brodie at Grove. Okay, let's crack on. And always beware when you fast travel to Brodie Grove, occasionally the uh, enemies do respawn there. Okay. And one of the joys of this quest is we get to beat the living crap out of Thalmor, which is always good. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. And just no mercy, just wipe them out. God. One down. Two down. And all down. Okay, so one of them should have a note on them. And no. Okay. So well, Cedric obviously got that one. Keith Man Lodge and notes the interrogator. And let's see what that says. Oh yeah, I've got to get rid of some of these. I grow impatient with your lack of progress. If you cannot break the smith, I will be forced to find a more capable interrogator. I expect your next report to contain more encouraging results. Anyway, so we pop in here. And Nothing here, so let's uh, take a little piggy downstairs. Help somebody. Okay. Get away from outsider. I remember you. 
You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the old maker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. Are you hurt badly? Do you need healing? No. No, my wounds are not serious. I don't think the elves were trying to harm me. Perhaps they intended to frighten me. At worst, I have a few bruises to show for my ordeal. Why would Thaum have touched this you? Word, but if you mean the elves, they were trying to learn the secrets of forging Stalrin. Their leader, an elf named Ankarian, has a map. He says that it shows the location of a hidden source of Stalrin. Where can I find this Ankarion? They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Please, do not let Ankarion make his weapons. Kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the Skull. I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. May the All Maker bless your days. Okay, so we've got to head right over to the edge of the island here, and I think the nearest place is Cast Castag Ruins. Okay, so let's uh, pop over there. Okay, you can deal with this uh, any which way you can. You can talk to these guys, negotiate with them, try and persuade them. Um, but I hate the Thalmor, so I'm just going to wipe him out. No mercy. And, by the way, here's an interesting thing as well. Uh, if you part of the Dark Brotherhood, you will be attacked by the Morag Tong straight away. These guys are hitting me bloody hard. Okay, is that last one? Job done. Yeah, so be prepared for that. That's the first time I've been attacked by these guys. Ooh, fire arrows, ice arrows, lightning arrows, nom nom. And writ of execution for Neem Neem Farseer. So, quick look at this. Honourable writ of execution for Neem Farseer. The aforementioned personage has been marked for execution as a member of an unlawful guild assassin in accordance with the lawful tradition and practice of the Morag Tong Guild. The bearer of this non-disputable document has officially been sanctioned license to kill the aforementioned personage. That's nice. So we've got a contract out on us. So uh, as long as we're in Solstheim, we're not safe. Okay. So, let's see what this little bod's got. Oh, nom nom. Fire arrows. Lightning arrows. Okay, nothing else I need here. This is quite difficult uh, terrain, to be honest. Uh, the easiest way, really, is to go get to the coast and run around the coast. But uh, Neve here is hungry for blood. There's the thermal ship. And remember, if you do it this way. Oh, that's close. Oh, 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 that hurt. Yeah, don't do that, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you did do it this way as well, don't forget your followers won't be able to follow you. Uh, so, be careful. I think I'll just go balls to the walls and just wipe them out. Oh, Cedric's got down here pretty quick. Okay, right. 
Let's pop out the boys. And a slightly more powerful bow, I think. Yeah, Ruin's Edge. That'll do. Okay. Let's not fanny around with these chaps. Don't like them, they're gonna die. Two down. And I think there's two more left on here. Let's kill him. Let's him down. Oops. Kill Bert. Okay, so that's them, those guys down. Okay. Got the map. No. And there's a couple of little chests around here as well worth looking at. Or not, as the case may be. <laughs> okay, yeah, so loot around a little bit. And after you loot around, uh, one thing you don't want to miss is uh, in the, or you may want to, it doesn't, it's up to you, uh, is in this shack, there's an East Empire pendant in a strong box. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, a couple of gold. I've got 300,000 gold. Why do I keep on doing this? There's a map. I haven't really looked at that map yet. Maybe I'll do that some other time. And... Where is it? Up there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to grab this. Well, or you may not want to. I collect these in East Empire Independence. Uh, you guys may not. Frost Diamond, Garnet, Ultima Healing, Nom Nom, and East Empire Pendant. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so just make ourselves uh, make our way back to the Skull Village. Our little Reichlin buddies. It is good to see you again, my friend. Yes, I and I brought you the map of the, top of the Star Room to source. There are no words to tell how glad my heart is. Thank you, Grim. I name you Friend of the Skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging the Star Room. If you bring Star Room here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull Friend. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and bountiful. So to find this star room source, you travel over to um, uh, White Ridge Barrow, and if you haven't discovered that yet, look at my Spider Scrolls uh, video. Uh, you really do want to do that one. That's uh, definitely worth uh, doing. Anyway, so fast travel uh, down to uh, White Ridge Barrow. Hook a left over, over the rocks, and then you'll see like a snowy path up to your right, and just head up. Now, don't forget you need the ancient Nordic pickaxe to um, mine this stuff. Okay. And here you go. Here you go, hidden away. I'd already found this place before, but it didn't actually show up until... Um, uh, as, as a travel spot until I uh, obviously took on this quest. So I've already actually already mined this. <laughs> oh, once. So anyway, 
what we'll do, we just mine it. Uh, you'll get up to 30 uh, pieces of star in with this, uh, obviously a few uh, gems and stuff. Uh, these respawn every uh, 10 days, so uh, that's good to know. Okay, let's do a little bit of mining. <laughs> Okay, uh, once that's done, uh, head back to Skull Village and speak There's to Boulder. That happened if you... The weapons of the Skull will never be dull. And tell me about forging Star Rim. The forge. Well, first you'll need to obtain some Star Rim, of course. And then you'll need to work. Okay. You'll find some in Raven. Just be sure to bring an ancient North pickaxe with you. Okay, effectively you can forge Star Rim now, so what you want to do is uh, go to the forge and uh, just make sure it's worked. Come on, Morwen, get out of the way. Go away. Okay, let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. And can we now smith Star Rim? Yes, we can. There you go. Now, like I say, I'm going to be doing my uh, endgame armour in Star Rim, and there's a lot of good reasons why I'm doing that. Uh, and I'll be doing that in a proper video in a couple of weeks. Um, all I'll say is it's definitely worth doing this quest um, as soon as you possibly can. Okay, so that'll be coming in a future video, and I hope you enjoyed this one and you found it useful. And uh, see you later, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!